by creating a new JMDI initial context, doing a lookup on the initial context with a JMDI name that you had to pick, um, and assign the result to the MyDS field. Now, in addition, you had to wrap all this JMDI stuff in a try-catch block, even though there was really nothing you could do if you got the exception. Uh, but, you know, again, it wasn't just this Java code. You also had to have a deployment descriptor entry that matched this Java code that told it what to do for that uh, JMDI name employee database. So in Java E5, we simplified this with dependency injection. The same example looks like this. Of course, to begin with, EJB is much simpler. It's just this plain old Java object with the, the session annotation on it. Again, we can declare our MyDS field, but all we need is that resource annotation on it, and that tells the container that we're using dependency injection to initialize that field. In this example, this is going to cause it to declare a resource named com.example.myEJB slash MyDS. That will be the JNDI name of our resource. The container will inject this resource into the MyDS field, and we don't need any deployment descriptor entry at all with this. 